All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. All right, so here is a Brazilian who has really taken this light heavyweight division by storm. Johnny Walker back for more here tonight. And the moment he got into the UFC, Johnny Walker made a beeline towards the top 15 in the world from finishing Khalil Roundtree with a beautiful elbow to the flying knee and the punches that he landed to finish against Misha Serkinov. You cannot start any better than Johnny Walker has started up to this point. He had three first round finishes, all of them sub two minutes. He oh. believes he's ready for this division's elite. And I think tonight's result, tonight's performance could give us some answers as to just how high the ceiling is for Johnny Walker Blue. All right, here he is, one of the best Muay Thai kickboxers on this roster, and he's often fond of saying, DC, there's no pads, there's no gloves on my knees and my elbows and my feet, and he certainly puts all those weapons to good use. Well, he feels released, right? He feels released. When he's wearing all that training gear, there are confinements. He's being confined. When he takes it all off and he has an ability to go in there and damage his opponent, he feels like the shackles have been taken off. So he throws that right elbow right across to try to cut the eye left elbow, big knee, and then when he grabs that Muay Thai clinch, you are truly, truly in trouble because he will drive that back knee into the midsection. When you start to try to take the hip back, he will shift you, right. kick the foot down into one of those great Muay Thai takedowns. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal striker. And he came into the octagon with a lot of high-level Muay Thai competition and tournament wins to his credit and certainly has gotten off on the right foot here in the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, five losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Johnny Walker! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Thiago! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC just out of range with that left hook big head kick land like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, oh! That kick. 
All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that passage yet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just out of range with that right hook. Big kick land. So there it is, longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have already landed for Tiago Bahecta Santos. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Spinning back fist. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big ball from Brunch Lands. Now he gets back in range. Big leg kick land. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice punch, man, over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just misses with the straight right. Big kick lands. Just out of range with that left hook. Slips the shot. Punch is blocked. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? The overhand left is true. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. You don't know when that leg is coming. Nice loop and punch. Big head kick lands. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Just misses there with the left. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Nice strike. 20 seconds to go in round one. Nice head kick. Seconds around one. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps winning. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. 
head kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great punch landed with so much power. And he landed the right hand there. Nice leg kick. Just misses with that one. Oh, Johnny Walker with another early land. This is a guy who fights like he is double parked outside. One of the bigger power threats in this light heavyweight division. And prevailing wisdom is that eventually Walker is going to find himself into a UFC championship scenario. Oh, big head kick. Oh, big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Punch over the top. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws the punch. 81 total strikes have landed for Maheta. And the connection rate pretty good. 44% accuracy tonight against Johnny Walker. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice punch, man. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, he's hurt! He's got him hurt here. Switching stances here. Big punch land. Ooh. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut. I, I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice high kick. Oh! All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab. Right hand hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that straight punch. Knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. 60 seconds to go in round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Unable to connect with a right hook. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful kick. Round number two. Right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. 
He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. What a punch. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. He blocks the shot. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. How about these numbers? 132 total strikes have already landed for Tiago Mahetta Santos. And landing with just 39% accuracy tonight against Johnny Walk. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Look at that leg. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, you better start doing something defensively. A lot of these knees are landing to the bottom. I mean, and it's going to drain you. You cannot stand there while someone has a clinch and is just driving knees into your body. Right punches there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big kick. Three minutes to go in round three. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful strike. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. And he continues to work the body here. Pretty good right hand. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Just over two minutes to go in the round. Nice job to land the knee upstairs there. That's going to leave a mark. And again, we talk about the size advantage. He certainly put it to good use there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so in entertaining five minutes, let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks Ready? in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Now connects with the right. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Liver kick. Lands with the right hand. Slips that left hand. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Goes to the body there. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Under three minutes now to go in the round. What a body kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice leg kick land. Back and forth we go. <laughs> Whiffs on that offering. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Huge block there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like, whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's gotta go change that finish down now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend, but you can 
see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, and he does a great job of that. Can't take many of those, you better check. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, Superman punch! Nice job by the fighter here to continue. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Wow. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action Ready? continues at a Ready? high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice straight punch. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Nice job. Nice kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he... Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, single collar tie now. Good punch, Lance. Big body kick. Another knockout! Whoa! Holy smoke! He put him to sleep. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Watch the strike. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock.
All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second, but round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tiago Mahenka So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.